Okay. And I get, I think top eight is about to start, so we should move on to, uh... I'm not saying ultimate is good, yeah, when mind you. When I we get that transition... I enjoy ultimate, I don't know how to play melee. Yo, yo, Gabe, what's good? Gabe, my, my, my boy, he's my friend from back home. I thought so too, for a second. Wait, is it working? Face to Alyssa's is melee is bad. You're damn right I do. It's not working, unfortunate. That is unfortunate. Um, Alright, we got Pyramithra versus Roy. I guess let's begin. Um, now, if, okay, if there was one fighting game I would want to learn, it would be Samurai Showdown 3, because it is really funny. There are infinites, and there's, um, there's, like... Two hit kills. Not exactly, but sort of. And then there's one character where you can, like, hit confirm into a command grab, and block confirm into a command grab. Also, time for, time for more Pyramithra. You I ready for more Pyramithra? Dude, I'm so hyped for more Pyramithra. I know, I know for a fact that that Fimshmimsh is very excited because he's the only person I know who plays Xenoblade. Man has like Which 200 Xenoblade, hours though? in Which Xenoblade, Xenoblade? 2. I know he has 200 uh, hours in Z Xenoblade 2. But I anyway. have like 230 hours into Xenoblade 1. Oh Xenoblade my. 1 is an amazing game. Is it now? Who said I... hype for Pyramithra? <laughs> 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 Anyways, back to the match. So, so I would like you to welcome to welcome to. Word definitions with Oberlin Smash. Today we are going to be talking about a word called irony. Now, what is irony? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, dude, me too. Dude, I, I want to. Dude, <laughs> some, 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 some bit of a thing to note. Uh, these two played last week. Purple Rose took it 2 0. Oh, Purple Rose took it. I don't know. There seems to be about equal right now. I guess we'll see how this goes. Let's also see. strategic, not oh, mentioning wait, the chat conversation. Wait, are they... wait, what? Why did they just stop like that? You well, you see, you see, sometimes, sometimes you just gotta wait and see what they do. I mean, yeah, but it... ooh, just gets the side that smash off of that. Safe. Not safe at all. I mean, I understand why you did it, but oh, but good... still. oh spike. Gosh, this. Hey, at least the game is going quickly. Is it? It's been it's what, been two minutes now. Maybe the game has not been going quickly. You know, you'd, ex you'd expect this, considering the characters, you'd expect True. this to go a little you, bit quicker. You but. have Roy, who can you know hit you and deal like sixty percent, and you have, and also who has limit cross slash, and then you have Pyramithra, who is Pyramithra. Right, right. Pyramithra just does everything. Pyramithra, yeah, Pyramithra is. Like Cloud in Smash 4. Really does feel like that. Um, it's a good thing if you're the Pirate Myth or Kit player. Yeah. Like, character can just kind of do anything while on stage. Might have 500 hours. Dude, I agree, I am so excited for Xenoblade 3. But how many women have you collected in real life? That's a burn. That's a hard burn. <laughs> That's the real question. I am, oh, it makes it back oh, I am so very bad. curious as to whether Nia and Melly are actually going to be in Xenoblade 3, because that would be a very interesting turn for character development, and I'm a bit cautious about it. Gets, gets it with the down air. I still think, but I think... This is a best of five, right? Uh, uh. Yeah, because we're in eights, right? No, we shouldn't. Ampersand was in pass bracket. Hold on. Let's let's actually uh check. Okay, so I guess they're about they're about equal right now. Both one stock. Um, Gets him, gets him with that move, but I still think it's really risky doing that move because it's still very unsafe. No, but this is loser's quarters. Hold on. Oh, this is loser's quarters? Okay. Or wait, is it quarters? What's that? One, two... Uh, Dude, yeah, it got chat filtered, but I put it through. Don't worry. Uh, <laughs> I'm... <laughs> Xenoblade is a, neg is a negative femoid value game. Oh, that's it. Yeah. 
a super unsafe option. <laughs> my man just my man just said femoid. I can't. I'm sorry. That that's a big mood. <laughs> I'm going to deny that just because I don't want people saying it again in chat. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, wow. Counting my bitches in imaginary numbers, yeah, cause they're not real. Dude, did we even commentate anything about that last round? You commentated stuff about that. I last I round. tried, but chat is a little chaotic right I now. I commentate stuff about that last round. I was talking about Xenoblade. I mean, fair enough. I don't get why everyone's obsessed with Xenoblade, but now not each their own. Have you <laughs> Y'all talk about F3 Moid Collector. Listen, listen, listen. I know it's funny, but if we allow Wait, Young Link, wait, wait, hang on, hang on. Young Link, what? Okay, oh, okay. I have, this is, switch. this is a switch. Exciting. Uh, Young Link is a character which I think is really fun to watch, but a lot of people complain because, because projectiles. Yeah. Xenomorph 4. Sorry, I thought this was Google. Dude. Anyway, so, it's really taking... Should we just ignore chat for a bit? Maybe. We... Maybe a bit. There um, is a match. We are supposed to come. We are, yeah, that is supposed to be our job, but, um... <laughs> job, imagine. Anyways, um... Back, back to the match. <laughs> um, both okay, really high percent... Yeah. Yes, I think it has a lot of more edge guarding options as Young Link than. I mean, they're certainly different. Like, sure, you have more options, but also, nothing Young Link has is quite as scary as getting S smashed by Pyra at ledge. It was really kind of out there. Oh, sorry. Oh, he does. He does the stroll. Ooh, we got a. We got a first time chat um, from viewer. Hello there, Saints Kiss. Um, Great first time chat. Oh, my. My boo -womp. Oh, kills him with the up smash. Is he gonna hold on to the bomb or is he gonna throw it? So, I, it, looks like, an it angle. looks like um, Am is switching to a very camp them out game plan. Yeah. As opposed to earlier where he was doing a bit more of the get close to the pressure with, yeah. you know, some of the faster builds of aerials. Um, Who, um, Ampersand? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's probably better for him because he doesn't, because Roy doesn't have any ranged attacks. Well, but Roy's also so fast, you know? I feel True. Like keeping Roy out. Yeah, it can it can be really difficult, but I think if you can do it, it can be it can be useful. True. It's jumping over his own bomb. I thought he was about to land on it there. Did, did he like? Gosh, I was not paying attention. That's a moment. Uh, can confirm he's a cryptid. Anyway, um. Also, uh, is, he's spamming bombs a lot, and I feel like. Oh, it bounces off of his shield yeah, twice how, and gets hit with it. About the bomb usage? I mean, I think he's I think it's useful in the situation, but I think he's gonna start using it too much and it's gonna become predictable. Right. I mean what I'm interested in is, is that I see very few short hop arrow. Yeah. And short hop arrow is useful. I mean, I don't know how you would use it, because this is not a character I play, but I do know short hop arrow auto cancels, and I don't know, that seems like that seems like a pretty useful thing to have. Yeah, I feel like he could have gotten a, um... <laughs> it's too far gone now, anyway, um... It's, oh, reverses with the combo. Not quite, because I guess it's too far out. But he gets with the forward air. Kills even though it's a sour spot. I wonder how Marth feels looking at Roy and seeing Roy kill with the sour spot, and yeah. Marth not. That is a good question. Uh, oh, is he gonna get a, that, he got out of range of the bomb just in time? Oh, but this is this is the opportunity for anything. This is the upbeat. Just but lots of spaghetti, and, lots of whiffing yeah. all around. Also, just, no, you can't you can't hit. Young Link shield, if you're not careful... Because oh, hits him with the arrow. Is he gonna... Hits him with the bomb, but I think that helped him recover. The thing that's scary about, about Young Link up the out of shield, like, it's it's not like normal links where it'll kill, mm -hmm. but it's set... Or, I don't know if it's set knockback, but it's like the right knockback where you can, like, always get a follow-up, mm -hmm. which is very scary. Right. Yeah. Yeah, no. It's I mean, the character switch. Oh, the boom! Really good boomerang right there. But he's still holding on to the bomb. I, I feel like if he wins 
for something other than down What's he gonna do? Time to not get hit by the oh, that Ampersand. Was a <laughs> he's gonna, I think he's gonna, Oh no, I wonder how this is gonna go. True. He's gonna have to play... Purple Rose is gonna need to play really carefully right now. Yeah, I mean, also Rose, you know, I feel like that Smash out ledge is... Ooh, but that's going to be it. And we're going to game three. Uh, wait, 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 wait. And I'm going with the toddler's <laughs> chest. It's 2-0. What? Oh, it's top eight? It's 2-0. Oh, okay, I got confused. Oh yeah, I was a little confused, sorry. Yeah. Dude, if we get if we go to game five, can we get a gentleman's another to living room? Switch. I'm not sure how I feel about that character Oh, switch. another I mean, character okay, switch? Okay, but like the youngling was working. It was working, yeah. So I'm not sure how I feel about going to Tapo. Like Well, like, I guess we're about to see. Okay. Why go to Tapo though? That's that's my question. What does Falco give you that you so Young Link doesn't? What what does Falco help you challenge? I I agree. Maybe it's I don't know. Maybe it's like maybe it's just a personal preference thing. Maybe I, it's like looking for for more raw kill moves. But also Young Link just has a lot of confirms, right? Yeah, I think so. Oh, that's it already. That was some. Um, maybe this was a questionable that, decision from uh. Ooh. Yeah, from Ampersand. Also, I don't want to say that because I don't want to cut him out, but still, it was very weird that he just switched like that. Also, that DI was very questionable. Oh, definitely. Like, I get the move strong, but that close towards the center stage at 60, I don't think yeah. it should have killed. Okay, but he's... I don't know. I think he's starting to kind of tie it up now with the map, but I think... True, but it's also 48% is nothing... Well, I don't True. know. It's well, Falco. Falco can way. rack up his end really quickly. He's making his way back up, though. Yeah. I mean, like, look at that. They're about they're about equal now. Oh, good good back air punish. Uh, it's him with the back air again. He's uh, I don't know. Maybe a little. Another pause to just to see now. see what uh. Oh, Perp does really the unsafe. Really unsafe with the with the side B right there. That's. You insert. Only wanna, you in don't want to do that on stage because it's probably one of the unsafest recovery moves that you can have. Insert joke about Falco always side being onto stage here. True. One thing I will say is that I think um, I think um, his, I think Falco's recovery moves are really in a situation like this are like really not good, especially because Roy has so many air options. Falco's interesting. Yeah. Oh, I mean, but goes really deep to get. That. Well, that's that's one of the things about Falco. Falco can go just. Insanely deep to recover. True. Ah. Uh. Yep, he streams it at Twitch TV at this Dust on the Swiss. Anyway, um. Oh, oh, really more oh, it's just. Nope. But what if? But what if? Oh, gets the up. What if? What if? Oh, that's it? That was purple rose. That was a very good job just keeping pressure. Yeah. That, that was just a really good job keeping pressure. Alright, next we got... What was the score on that? 3-0. Yeah. yeah. Boy, one, two, two, seven. Wow. 